and welcome to Yams, Yams from, from the, the South. South. Hi. I'm Vanessa. And I'm Sue. And <laughs> we, we are. are. <laughs> really lame. Um, <laughs> we are a knitting <laughs> podcast from Invercargill, New Zealand. And it's nice to be back. Yeah, this is podcast 16. Yeah. 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 Pretty exciting. Pretty cool. Um, my new cat has just jumped up on the table, so beware of a cat ass very shortly. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's in the near future. Yeah. Oh, no, sitting down. How have you been, Sue? Yeah, good. Um, we're in April, Vanessa. Yeah. yeah. How's, how the bloody hell has that I know, happened? right? That's quite crazy. Yeah. Yeah. And we're, we're um, going into autumn, though it's meant to be 21 today. Yeah, it's going to be a hot day. I know, I've got my jumper on though. It's it's definitely the cool, crisp mornings yes. of autumn, which yeah. is quite cool. Yeah. yeah. And... Right, so should we crack into yeah, what we've been up to? Let's, let's do some stuff, eh? What have you got finished? Finished. Yeah. So, I've finished my socks, and I've just noticed there's a hole in them, so mm. I need to... <gasps> How did it get a hole? I don't know. Have you been, oh, maybe uh, not done, not weaving Stephen enough? Or? Maybe, maybe. Oh, bloody hell. I know. Okay, That's sorry. It. Let's show them. Let's show them anyway, but not the mistake, maybe. Okay, so these are finished. Yay! Yay! So, for the last three episodes or whatever, we've been doing these, but these are all finished. So, now, yay. what were they again? Who? They are Stephen West. They are the painting block sock. Um, I used yarn, which will be on the other podcast, but they, um, that you made, you dyed for me. So the sunshine something, sunshine blast. Sunburst. Or sunburst, yeah. yeah. And then, um, the other colours, three are yours and, no, two are yours and three are from Purple Sprouting. So here's the other one to prove, but I have got a wee hole, so I need to. Mm. Have you been wearing them? Yeah, I've worn them. Mm. But I can I can sort that out. Yeah. I, they're, they're on my pile of... And I've done that to another one as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. At, at a join? Yeah. Right, okay. Yeah. yeah. There. Yeah. So it's obviously... Something to do with my technique, everybody. That's all right. But that's okay. We're not... But so, yeah, so that, that's done. That's exciting. So that's very exciting mm. and they're lovely to wear. And I feel full of um, joy when I Yay. wear those. And then, um, so you'll remember probably after Christmas, I talked about my, um, what I like to call loom. And um, I've finished a pro I've finished a Yay. thing. Yay. So, it's a bit wobbly. I think because it's fe ended up felted. I'm not sure if it's meant to felt, but this is what's happened. And it's, mm. um, but anyway, so it, it came, so I got a kit. It was a rigid huddle. A uh, loom kit for a 16 inch, I think, loom. Um, mm. And so it came with the um, Ashford Merino boot clay yarn. Probably not really something I would have chosen, but it came with it and it had a pattern to make a scarf. Um, so this was so it said to hand wash it, and then another friend who weaves was like, ah, oh, just stick it in the machine. And it's like it'll, and I was like, okay, so I did, and it <laughs> completely melted. So, and I actually prefer it to the to what it was like. It's quite short, so I can't really wrap it round. So it's more of a, I'll demo. Yeah, please. So hello, I would go like this, and I'd go like this. Mm. But I actually, or I could go. I don't know. I could do lots of things, couldn't I? Mm. Like that. Yeah, 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 I think I'd look really. Yeah, it's I think nice. I look yeah, really I think nice. it looks good. Yeah. Um. So, and I actually prefer it to the boot clay. So I actually quite like it. I was going to give it away, but I'm not now. I like the fabric. Yeah, I think it's, it's a really nice so fabric. So soft. Yeah. Mm. Um. And I'm very yes. And I've and I'm sure I could have done the tassels better, but by the time I got to the tassels, I couldn't be fucked. Mm. So yeah. Um. Yeah. But that's my first. Like I've made. I know I made um the tea towels, but this is my first thing on my on my loom. So mm. really excited. Do cool. And do recommend weaving. Ah, cool. Mucho recommendo. So yeah. So they are my finished things. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I I cannot believe this. I did put my finished object in here. 
But I think they might have fallen out in the car. Or can you see my mittens anywhere? Oh no. Oh. Oh, well what we'll do is I will insert a picture. Okay. Because I finished my beautiful mittens. I'm oh. so, I love them so much. Maybe if we do this and they'll be here. Oh yes, maybe. we'll try. <laughs> And then I have, I've done it. I've done it once. Yeah, you so, did. Yeah, so yeah. I just need to go back. I believe in, in you. Yeah. Okay, I'll um, do that again. I'll write insert picture. <laughs> um, so that was the Endless Mitts by Skein Dear Knits, and it was part of her matchy matchy um, collection that she put together. Um, I think not last year, the year before. Um, and I've worn them a few times and they are lovely and I'm so happy that I've made them. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. You just need it to be cold enough to wear. Have you worn... Because I saw you wearing some yes. knits. I did, day. yeah. Maybe I we could insert that picture as well. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Yeah, go yeah that's perfect. I'm now setting myself up. <laughs> so that's what I finished knitting. Um, and other than that, I've been doing a lot of spinning. Cool. So I've... Um, Spun just this is all just oh, it's amazing. Um, I actually need to wash most of this and set it because it hasn't actually been through yet. Oh, it's really wow. what's been interesting is like the difference in the feeling. So, I think this one is washed in the feeling. In the feeling, like if you feel that, oh, yeah, and the difference, and once it's washed, it'll be a lot different. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, that's that's, that's nicer. Mm. I don't think I'd want to. I wouldn't want that on my skin, really. No, well, you with all your weaving and your looms and whatnot mm. have really inspired me. Yeah. And so has Leslie, one of our um, friends who is a prolific weaver. Oh, yeah. She's got a massive loom. <laughs> She's got a massive loom. She's got a massive one. And, well, I just, yeah, I'm like, I need to get in on this. So I am in preparation for getting a loom later on in the year i'm just spinning up as much as i can oh, cool. to then weave yeah nice. oh that's awesome they they look like proper vanessa they look proper dead, like proper like dead professional well you know if we just i'll hold them back here so you can't see the uh <laughs> <laughs> all of the mistakes but um oh awesome i got so i got a new or do we talk about that in acquisitions or something? Maybe. Yeah, okay. Yeah, we'll call them don't like spill all of our guts yep. right okay. now. Okay, cool. Okay, so that's finished objects. Tick. Okay. So okay, what we're working on, this is great. Um well I've been doing some weaving. <laughs> Just talking about that. Cool. So let's enter some weaving. Mm -hmm. So, very proud of myself. I walked my loom up myself. Yay. Last weekend, awesome. um, using um, one of the Ashfords. Ashfords have got some great tutorials, and there's just a um, lady just really simply warping up um, the same loom I've got. And it was really, it was just brilliant. It was just a great tutorial. Cool. And so, it's like, I'm sure I'm probably doing something wrong because it's a little bit gappy, but it doesn't really matter. I don't really care. Anyway. I don't know if you can see everybody. Um, it's a little bit delicate. I'll hold it up. I've just got to put my things down. There we go. I'm lifting up. Ooh. Yay. Gosh, that's so pretty. That will probably work. I don't want to touch things. That's no, you're right. right. Yeah. So, this is just going to be, um, it's just going to be a cowl. Um, I've just used a two, just two skeins, 100 grams, um, vintage pearls, because... Um, it's Vintage Pearls Max 8 Ply, Silversmith and Golden Child. Um, yeah, so I'm just, I haven't got a p pattern, I'm just going random. Mm. And um, But what I've, I can do on my lap, so you can get stands for them. But I think what I found was when I, because I borrowed our friend Sarah's loom. Um, and what I found is when I had to like get it up and set it up, I was less likely to want to do it. So, and I really wanted something that I could just like basically sit and watch telly. Mm. Um, is that gonna fall off? I'm gonna balance it. Mm. Sorry. Sorry, sorry. Not that professional as a podcaster. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I can't watch. Okay, and good. It's fine. <laughs> um, and, um, and I can, so I can, so yes, you can get the stand, but. Um, that's another $250. So, um, mm. and actually I can do it on my knee. 
Fine. Mm. The only problem is, is when the cat wants to sit on my knee, and so then I have to start weaving. You're a nice kit, man. <laughs> um, yeah, but I love it. It's just so... Um, it's just something about it. It's just so rhythmic. Mm. And um, and I've got really inspired, because obviously I've just got a small one. So in the really large ones, you can do like blankets and things really easily. But on the small ones, you can still do blankets by just doing like scarves and mm. then sewing them together. And, and by doing this one, I'm like, oh my God, I really want to do a blanket. Mm. So I was really, I was like, oh no, I would never do a blanket. But I really do. Mm. So, and also I'm like, oh, I think I might make some placemats. So mm. I've got really inspired and, um, and you, stuff um, happens really quickly. Mm. So, yeah. um, and, it, and I love this, it's portable. So we, we had mm. a knitting afternoon last week and I, I've got, it came with a bag and I can just carry it with me. So yeah, so, um, oh, I just love awesome. it. Really. I'm so, oh, I can't wait to get, get mine. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. Now, I've, now I've walked it, I'm like, okay, this is so doable. It's like, first time we walked, obviously you did um, Sarah's on it and it's big and it took a little while, but mm. this probably took me, oh, maybe it took me an hour, a bit more than an hour. Mm. Um, yeah. So how do you know how long, are you just going to keep weaving until you've used up all of your wool? I am, yeah. Yeah. Well, to be honest, when, as it, once, whatever happens first, I either use up my warp or I use up my wool. So. Right, yeah, okay. I, I did measure, though, um, I did measure my warp just for the length of a cowl. Okay. Yeah. And then do you have to factor in some shrinkage? Um, I think so. So I did go a little bit more than that. Yeah. But okay. um, yeah. I've made quite a long one anyway. So I've made one that you could twist. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm a bit of a bodger though. So um, yeah, so we'll just see. Because it might be, it might be quite thick. But I think it will shrink a bit. Mm. So yeah. Well, the superwash doesn't, but then it will fill it. It'll fill out yeah, a bit. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's exciting. So, Can't wait. I love the colours. Yeah. 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 So I'm quite, quite, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. So I would say I'm probably a two thirds of the way through. Mm. Yeah. Cool. Um, I only started at the weekend. So that's really cool. Awesome. Um, and this would probably go in acquisitions, but I'm going to say it anyway. Um, the I got a spinning wheel. Yeah. Yay. I will insert a picture because I couldn't be bothered to get it from the spare room. Yeah, imagine. and they're a bit awkward to take. Yeah. Them. So insert picture here. Whee! We'll try lots of pictures. It, mm. You'll watch, there'll be no fucking pictures. <laughs> Probably. Just so, use your imagination. Like, mm, what did I like? <laughs> mm. So yeah, so I got a friend who apparently had uh, Layla, who I think does watch. So oh, hi. hi Layla. Um, she had five spinning wheels and was learning to spin and then then got down to one spinning wheel and decided she isn't going to continue spinning and I happened to be at her house and went can I have it and I don't know if she really wanted to give it away <laughs> well I bought it I didn't know if she really wanted it. but anyway I got it mm. um yeah and I was really I, was, I once I was anti-spinning I would just yeah, she was oh, yeah. she really was oh no well I'm no I'm not no I'm not a spinner yeah <laughs> That's what it was like. That's so me. I like, just so me. I was just like, I was like that with socks. I was like that with sewing. I was like, I don't know what I would want to do. Yeah, but okay, maybe I was. But I had a go, but I struggled. <clears throat> to be fair, I had lent her a wheel that I had, which, and I knew it wasn't a great wheel. And I did say, but it really wasn't a great wheel. So your first experience wasn't on like nice, good, um, good to learn on sort of equipment. So that, yeah. that is a factor. Yes. Um, yeah. And I couldn't get a result at all. But um, anyway, so got a nice traditional Ashford's mm -hmm. um, and went over to Vanessa's at the weekend. We had a long weekend because it's Easter. So, mm -hmm. um, and she helped me and I kind of got going. And then I've had two goes since. And um, I've actually I've pulled it out and um, and like at night time and uh, sat and so <laughs> and uh, sat and watched and done like an hour and hour and had a go and yeah mm. and I'm, I'm getting like mm. I'm getting better like mm. I'm still beginner but I, oh, I'm so excited by it yeah cool yeah Excellent. yeah yeah I'm really excited by mm. it and it's just yeah I really like. Yeah, I really like it. Mm. So, because I really want to be able to spin and then weave. Mm. So, yeah. Mm. I literally just want to be in a Scottish bothy. Yeah. 
my dream with my, with my sheep outside yes, yes please ah <laughs> uh. Jim would as well, that's the problem. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's... Um, so I would approve of that move if you actually got to a Scottish coffee, <laughs> as long as there was enough room for me. <laughs> like, a lot, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. so, oh yeah, so that's... Um, and also, sorry, actual knitting. Actual so, knitting. actual knitting. So... It's also a nice colour. Oh, yeah. Um, actually, I, forgot, I think I forgot to write down what this was after I wrote down other things. Anyway, um, so this is beautiful. Gosh, it's beautiful. Oh, there's lots of mistakes, oh. but let's not worry about that. Oh, I love that, it. Will we? So this is another Stephen West, um, and it's his Dustland um, cowl. He's got a big, mm. like he does all this stuff. He has a big collection of. And we'll do, I'll have a design and we'll do lots of different styles. So, yeah, so, um, and this is Superstar Vintage, uh, vintage Pearls. I can't tell you the name though. Is it Golden Child? No, the no, other one. No, the other one's Golden Child. Mm. I think I have said, I don't, I think it was in the last one because I think it was an acquisition. But, and we can um, pop it in the show. Yeah, 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 sorry. I was being really good, but then I forgot about that one. Um, yeah, so this, I've been going a month on this. So that was, so I've just started so on the cool. second ball. So it'll be doubled over. So it'll, like, once it, you'll loop it round, so it'll be bloody, it'll be bloody mm. warm. Oh my gosh, um, it's so cool. I might need another skein, I don't know. Are but, you happy? Yeah, really. I just love the texture. Mm. Like, um, yeah, like I said, there is mistakes in it, but I don't care. No, well, you can't. You can't you really can tell. See. No. no. And I mean, it, it just looks. It just looks so good. It looks like it would be a really fun knit because you know, it's not, you know, you're changing up all the time. Yeah. 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 Basically. Yeah. So it keeps your interest, mm. even though you're just in one colour. Mm. Um, yeah. And it's, uh, I think they're 3.5. So, mm. yeah. So it's fairly. Is this fairly sport quick, weight, did you say? Sport. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. And it, you needed something that had a bit of structure to it. Don't want something too floppy, mm. he said. So um, yeah, so he's also got. Um, he's just brought out the Dustland um, cardigan, which I bought. So I think I want to make that. I'm just toying up with what yarn. Mm. I don't want to spend heaps. Is it the same weight for the? Yeah, eight. No, it's eight ply. Oh, okay. Eight ply. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, so I have been looking at Ashford's because mm. that seems the most reasonable. Mm. So. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what colour. That's, mm, that's exciting. Yeah. And it's really beautiful. Yeah, yeah, so really, yeah, enjoying, enjoy, and I'm not doing a sock. Age. Yeah, well done. Like, that's... That's like, I've probably done so a funny. year of socks, so mm. there's normally about this time of year I kind of go, oh, I need to make a hat, but I made heaps of hats mm. last year, so I'm not making them. Do there's not only, let me make a hat. There's only so many hats that a woman needs. Do yeah. not make, do not let me, because mm. I don't need any more. I've only got one head. That's right. That is right. Um, yeah, that's me. Okay, cool. Well, um, what am I working on? So I'm still spinning. Now, I didn't mention that this fibre that I'm spinning here is um, from one of our old knitting crew, um, the lovely Ainsley, who's since passed away. But she had a neighbour who had a bunch of sheep and had shorn the sheep and um had all this fiber and thought oh she just has to sell it to the wool merchant i don't know what they're really called but i think they're just a wool merchant mm. um who was only going to buy it for 50 cents a kilo oh god so ainsley said no, no no i'm sure i can find um some you know other people to um to buy it from buy buy this from you because it it's all it was all beautiful really lovely shades of different colours and um just so soft I don't I don't I think they were just a mixed breed of sheep but just really really awesome fibre so yeah she bought it round to she bought all these this couple of big fedges round <laughs> for this raw wool um to knitting one night spinning one night and um, we all got in there and so I got um a couple of fleeces um. And this is one of them, yeah. So, and in my um, big tidy up that I had later on, uh, earlier on, oh, middle of last year when Lily's sister came to live with us, 
and I had to clear out my craft room. I found all of this fiber and I thought, oh, I can't just have it sitting in my room and it was sitting there just doing, doing nothing. So that's um, half the reason why I need to spin. I've got like about, I think three kilo of this. Oh wow. Hence why I'm like, this will be great for blankets. And yeah. yeah. It's really interesting though, because the bumps are, are big bumps and the, fi the fiber as I've been spinning down this one bump, like it is getting coarser in the middle. And I wonder, is that because I've left it for so long or is, and the oils, I don't know, it's quite interesting. Um, I got them carded, you know, processed, carded and made into roving um, up in Tally Ho. Uh, where are they? Just out of Roxburgh, I think? Yeah. Um, and I know they've got a big machine, so everything sort of goes in and comes out. And Yeah, I could have possibly um, done it all myself. But, oh, really? Oh, yeah, but... <laughs> That's a lot of faff. I've done, but then it might have, I might have been able to uh, clear, clear out some of the rougher wool uh, a bit more and, and just had a bit more quality going on. But mm. it'll still be fine. I think it'll be great for blankets. I, I still need to dye it up, uh, but I'll do that once I've finished everything. Nice. So that's that spinning. Um, but then I'm also spinning just to um, break things up and get a bit of um, interest going. This lovely fibre, uh, now the wonderful Sue bought me this for Christmas, and it is from Fibre Artemis, um, who is Mandy Hook, I think she is, um, from Christchurch. Oh, her fibre is just, mm. I love it so much, it's my fave. Mm. And so I've just been doing a little bit of spinning in this. Nice. So this is 100 grams, I think. Grams. Yes. I've really noticed my Kiwi accent lately. Um, and I'm going to, this is, she had split the hank of wool. And so that's one of them and I'll do the other one and I'll do a two ply. Oh, nice. Usually, be, <laughs> purely because I only have three bobbins on my old spinning wheel, I usually just do a uh, chain ply with most of like with all of this just because I don't have enough bobbins to do more, um, but I'll talk about how things will change um, when we talk about acquisitions. Nice. Um, I am still ploughing along with my oh, uh, Nectar blanket. Such a lovely colour. I know, I love it. This is Ashford's, they're oh. just their four ply. Yeah, so that's what oh. I'm thinking, because they do have an eight ply with yeah. this. Yeah, oh my God, That would yes. look amazing. Oh, that would look amazing. Um, so this is, yeah, this is the Nectar Blanket by Sol de Tea, and it requires lots and lots and lots of he hexagons, which... Oh my god. Oh, it's so soft. Yeah. Oh. I think you should totally get some of that in Oh my god. Yeah. That is so soft. I know. It's... I could have a bath in that. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. So, um... Look at this. This is just, like, beautiful. It is so much fun. They are so much fun. I love it. I don't even think, even on the back. <laughs> um, there's a few mistakes in there, but you know. Oh, who would know? Don't stress. Just so yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so oh, I'm really... That is like that. I wish we had Feely Cam, because that would be Feely Cam. Feely cam. <laughs> that feels it really good. is. I, um, I, I hadn't really fondled much Ashford's until I fondled this stuff, and then... Yeah, they're beautiful. Mm. So I've got that going, and then I think I might have showed the finished one of these, or maybe a, a half one of these, no, um, half, I think. Um, a while back. But this is just a plain vanilla sock for my eldest boy. Um, so I finished one, and I'm on to the next. And he's oh. tried them on, and oh, they actually sturdy, isn't it? It is sturdy. Oh, that's a sturdy it's a sock. Good solid oh, sock for a good solid sock. Oh, a growing boy. A growing boy. Uh, oh, you can see him running around in the mud in that, can't uh, you? Oh, up well, the hill. Trouble at mill. <laughs> oh, uh, oh, trouble at mill. Oh, trouble at mill. Look at that sturdy. That's a, that, that's that, a that, good that, solid that, sock. That's my granddad's name. Sturdy. Yeah. Sturdy ward. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. That's yeah. cool. Yeah. Um, so this is opal. That's amazing. That's very nice. I'm going to sneeze. I'm going to sneeze. Oh, gosh. Uh, it's very paused. <laughs> <laughs> I can't sneeze now. I'm depressed. Yeah, if you look up, it stops you from sneezing, oh. apparently. 
Uh, so this is um, <laughs> I'll try not. Do you mind? Can you no. not sneeze? No. <laughs> um, if we were professional, we'd edit it, but I just can't be bothered. Oh. I'm just not one of those. If you were one of those podcasts, trot on. Don't look here. <laughs> if we are one of them. Now, did I actually say it in the end? It's that yarn. It's opal yarn, which I brought from Ashford's. There we go. Done. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, cool. Um, okay, cool. Acquisitions. 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 Yeah. Okay. Um, well, I've um, bought things to spin with. So, Yay. Um, so I'm currently spinning some, what am I spinning? Just a bump of random fluff yeah. that came with the... Came with the wheel. Yeah. And then... Romney, I think. Well, yes. Yeah. And then you said, once you've done that, um, you should spin with something you like to mm. give you some motivation, which I love the idea of doing. So I just bought some stuff from Ashford's. Um, quite it's like we're an Ashford's merchant. We are. We're, we're not sponsored, but we're hey. We've been a Mania Toto <laughs> yeah. for a long time, and that we're definitely vintage pearls. Oh, so we need to bloody let her know. Yeah. Like, we're bloody sponsoring you. <laughs> um, and now we're Ashford's, but we're not sponsored. But yeah, so this is um, Corridale Silver. Okay, it's just a mixture. It's called, it's called Autumn. So it's just some fun... Yeah, colours. fun little colours with yeah. bumps of things that you can play around with. Yeah, and then I just got this one. This is merino, and so this is spearmint. Mm. So, yeah. Cool. Um, that will help, yeah. Yeah. Keep you. Yeah. And then your finished product, you can either weave into like, mm. something or... And I didn't really think, but I'm sure I wanted one with... I'm just, I don't know if that was the one I actually picked, but it doesn't matter. I don't okay. care. It's bright. Yeah. So... Yeah, Fun. and I think that's kind of it. I bought some stuff for my wheel back up, but you don't need to see that. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah. Well, I guess I'll just talk about the wheel that I have. So, for the longest time, I just had the one wheel. My husband Mark bought it for me for Christmas for our first Christmas together. He was he aimed so high. That was such an amazing present, and it's been hard for him right. <laughs> ever since. Um, no, but he I hadn't matched it. You know, he's not. <laughs> Um, he, not that I'm into presents or anything, it doesn't, you know, like things aren't important, um, but it was just such an amazing gift because I had been talking about how much I wanted to, you know, do the whole process from sheep to, to finish garment knitting, and so yeah, he found the spinning wheel, and we have no idea, I thought it was a little piggy, uh, which is a Rapard, is from the Rapard spinning wheel collection, um, who was a spinning, well, he, I don't know what he was, but he built spinning, spinning wheels, um, and he was from Dunedin, but it looks very much like one, but there isn't any markings to say that that's what it definitely is, and, um, so I'm not sure what kind of spinning wheel it, it is, so I just sort of did my best, learned how to spin on it, and then, um, you know, just adjusted to it, got, got to know it, and I love it, and I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Um, it is a bit clunky, but a little bit noisy, and I know when we, when I take it to spinning, <laughs> it can annoy <laughs> some people sometimes, because it's quite loud. Um, I know that it really bugs Mark when I'm trying to spin and he's trying to watch TV. <laughs> um, but it's been fine. And, but because it's a different make, it's been hard to find bobbins for it. So I, um, I did approach um, a lovely uh, wood worker once like years ago who made who he had a lathe and he made up some bobbins for me he i don't know where he's is now and i can't find anybody else to do that and over the years the bobbins have broken or you know the kids have been quite rough with it um and so now i'm just down to my my last three which is fine it, i can still work with that but then um lynn our one of our lovely nitty weavy spinny friends um we were at her place the other night um spinning and she had i think she'd been given two spinning wheels mm. hadn't she and mm. she that they the person who had given them had just said pass them on so they lynn and her husband um oiled them up and they were just sitting there waiting for whoever so i thought maybe this is a good time they were two ashford wheels one of them was a traditional, one of them a traveller. So I grabbed the traveller. 
got some stuff from Ashford's to get it going again. Just the, you know, just needed a drive band and a tension um, band and whatnot. And it's beautiful. It's, it's lovely. And oh my goodness, it's so quiet <laughs> compared to my old one. <laughs> I now see how noisy <laughs> the old one was. So this is, yeah, oh, obviously wow. I'm spinning um, this on, on, on it. And it, I just thought it's going to be great in the long run because you can, it's easy to get replacement bobbins and, and with Ashford's, they're so good. You can uh, really pimp it out to how you want it. You can make it a double treadle. You can get bigger flyers and therefore bigger bobbins and, you know, all of that kind of thing. So I think in the long run, if I'm going to get serious again about spinning, it's good to have one that you can actually, just a good workhorse. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just panicking that this isn't recording sound. And we're 30 minutes in. <laughs> and I've got a full day here. There's no way I'm doing this again. <laughs> no, so, so it'll be a 30 minute... Um, well, you'll be able to put in lots of... <laughs> yeah, captions. Captions and things. <laughs> I don't know whether to stop and see. I'm not. sure, like, I think, because we're almost done. Yeah. So should we just wrap it up and then just see? Okay. After. Yeah, um, <laughs> we, haven't been, we haven't been reading corner. Oh, well, yeah, we'll get that done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if it's not recording sound, yeah. We'll have to do it again. We'll have to do it again, but just but not today. today. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay. But let's pretend like we know that it is. Yeah. Okay? Hopefully. <laughs> oh, we're great. Okay, what do okay. you think? Oh. oh, ready? Reading corner. Reading corner. Reading corner. <laughs> reading corner. Okay. What are you okay. reading? Well... I have just finished oh, a book that I absolutely loved, which is called The Unlikely Pilgrimage of Harold Fry by mm -hmm. Rachel Joyce. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness. It is such a good book. I audio booked it from Audible. And oh gosh, I've forgotten the guy who reads it. Um, he is... Um, well, an, a, an English actor, and you'll know him when you. Oh, oops. Um, does it say there? Oh gosh, no, I don't know. Oh, you know him? Yeah, him. That he's, guy. Him. He's that. It's that guy. He's in Harry Potter. Yeah, he's in Harry Potter. Oh gosh, it's blurry. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll find out his name. Anyway, I'm being annoying. Um, and pop it in the show notes. He um oh he's a lovely narrates actor. it and um Ellie from This Wonderful Life oh. talked about it in one of her um podcasts and mm. so I went on over and had a listen and oh it's really good. I fully recommend it. There's a, there's she's got quite a few other books which I'm going to get eventually. Um and it's just a really beautiful, beautiful story. I think you'd really love it. It's um Talks about this guy Harold who makes this um, who walks uh -huh. a, a big distance um, in the UK and talks a lot about the different places that he goes on his way. So I think you, you might really enjoy it. Is it something to do with his wife or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, oh. another lady. Uh -huh. I'm pretty sure Queenie Hennessy, who I'm pretty sure you you, you actually read in the blurb. So I'm not giving anything away. Uh -huh. there. It's all cool. southern England though, not northern, mm. but um, yeah, no, it's really good. Aww. Really recommend. Nice. And then another one that I'm just listening to at the moment is The Hidden Life of Trees by Peter Wolburn. And um, that's really interesting. <laughs> it's really interesting. I've forgotten who Peter is. but He's got some amazing credentials though, and he, um, he's been working with trees like in forestry for like years and years and years and just the like yeah it's it's pretty cool it's pretty amazing how um how much goes on with a tree that we just don't see you know we just think it's just standing there it's just doing its thing we know about photosynthesis and that's about it but all the other things that are going on that we just don't know a little bit happy <laughs> but that works with me so <laughs> so that's what i've been listening to yeah Nice, nice. Um, so I've been uh, podcasting. So I've been slightly mm. heavier topic. I've been listening to um, I'm Not a Monster. Um, I can't remember the guy's name, Josh somebody. He's a um, he's a journalist, 
for the Times and for BBC Panorama. So um, he's got two series out. I started listening to series two and then I've gone back to series one. So series two just um, was around about the Shamina, I think the Bejum, Bejum mm. story. Um, so idea. she's, um, so probably, but I don't know, about six years ago, maybe five years ago, three girls from, um, Bethnal Green in London um, left, they were 15 and they left to join ISIS in Syria. Oh. Um, so basically, um, and she's since, she's very well, there's been lots of stories, so I'm not, it's, uh, I won't be spoiling it, but, um, and she's had an awful, awful time. And, um, and since she's now in a, um, like a, she's no longer with ISIS in some kind of camp and, um, but the British government took her a citizenship off her because oh. she's seen too much of a danger. So she can't come back to the UK. She's kind of in limbo. And she's only like 19. Mm. So young. So oh, so yeah. So, um, yeah. So I've been listening to that. we really, done really, really well. Um, and found it very, very interesting and just lots of different layers to it. And then I've gone back and I've gone to series one and it, where he... he um, tracked down an American woman who um, was married to um, a Moroccan guy and they ended up in Syria and he joined ISIS and um, and her kids were ended up using, using propaganda videos mm. and, um, and she's ended up being in prison for supporting kind of terrorism and yeah, so really quite interesting um, and just, yeah, and she's claiming that yeah, she didn't support them, but anyway. Um, yeah, but very, really done well. Um, very, yeah, just, oh, just sounds mm. quite deep. But yeah, really liked, really enjoying those, done very well. Um, Vampire Knitting Club, the Cornwall uh, oh, yeah. edition is out, which i um, super enjoying. Mm. Um, yeah, so spin-off off the, the, um, the OG. <laughs> so she's... Um, uh, Lucy's friend has uh, has joined her from joined from America, and she's gone to go help um, dead granny vampire to go and set up a knitting shop in Cornwall. Gorgeous. So it's great. Mm -hmm. Really enjoying that. And then TV wise, um, just finished. We're a bit behind here in good old NZ, but just finished last year's series of British Sewing Bee. Ah, mm. uh, such a good show. Okay. Such a good wholesome and it was in Yorkshire. Have you never? Ah, I would one hundred recommend. Okay. Yeah. Really good. And then I think last week started New Zealand Lego Masters, oh, second cool. series. Yeah. Oh my oh, god. What day is that on? I need to do that. Monday, before. Tuesday and Wednesday. What? It's on them. Um, it's on on demand though. I'll just watch it we on demand. We can't get our on demand. Sorry, boring. <laughs> <laughs> We're just going to have our chat. We chat. I just can't get our on demand to work. We just tried this last night and on our TV. And ah. There was something going on with the app. And, oh my gosh, it was a real palaver, I tell you. Can you not do it on your... Chris? We can Chromecast. Chromecast, yeah. We just lily each other, you know. She's, you know, young and knows these things. Right. But, um, yeah, anyway. Yeah. Oh. Was, a very boring aside, but I'm excited. Three days a week, three yeah. nights a week. Okay. Yeah, cool. And yeah, I just oh, mm. love it. Um, yeah, I just ordered a book about Lego therapy. Yeah. Well, it's a kind of For work. Use, yeah, it's used in autism. Oh, cool. Um, and but I'm quite interested in how I could integrate it. Mm. Yeah. So. Um, mm. Oh, cool. Because I bought. Yeah, this is boring as well. I bought a Lego set for work and, um, and because we didn't have any, and then other people started using it and like, going, oh, it's just like, Lego's just great. Also not sponsored by Lego, but if Lego wants to chuck us some Lego, Please, then that'd that be great. amazing. My kid would love it. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Let's, let's hope that's bloody oh. recorded. I'm not going to cry this time though. I didn't matter. I didn't it cry last time. It is, time. Yeah, it is what it is. Right. We're not profesh. No. All okay. right. Um, we talked about possibly doing a wee giveaway mm. next time, so yeah. just hinting, hint, hint there. Um, yeah, cliffhanger. <laughs> uh, do do like and subscribe. I know that sounds really boring, but we do want to try and bump up the channel. So um, 
share. I know my friend in Jersey, she's moved to Jersey, and she she um, told one of her new friends, and so she's watched it. So somebody in Jersey's watched it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Thanks. And they're nowhere even a knitter. <laughs> so you don't have to like knitting. We're hilarious. <laughs> so... I'm not feeling very hilarious today, no, but that's right. generally, we've yeah. been pretty We're just normos. Yeah. Okay. Well, that'll do. Thanks for sticking around yeah. and watching to the end, if you did. We hope you we brightened up your, yeah. your day, your mm. evening, or your night. Let us know what you're knitting or spinning, if you are indeed a knitter or spinner or weaver or crafter. Yeah. Um, it'd be interesting to hear what everybody else is doing out there. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Mm. Cool. Okay. Okay then. Okay, cook it too. Cook it there. Bye. Bye.